here with a new review for you guys and today I got something that's sure uh-huh amazing guys it's the Blitzen RTA guys by Geek Vape wow 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 guys now let's get down to the unboxing and let's see what this amazing RTA comes with guys see you down there Now we're down here with the Blitzen RTA guys by Geekfabe and as you can see the Blitzen is some type of animal or deer or whatever coming in blue guys with that lovely resin tip right there as you can see guys nice hard case Blitzen RTA you got your um, 3D hologram here or whatever some information about the tank guys some barcodes and serial numbers Scratch and check right there and some tamper proof seals on either side. Now let's open this up. Let's see what she comes with guys. Now first you see the star of the show right here. Which is the Blitzen RTA by Geek Vape. Let's put that aside. And let's see what else it comes with. Now you get a spare two more glass here guys. If I can get it out of here. Oh. Spare two more glass right there. Let's put that back. And now in here, you get a spare five more bubble glass section. Just like that, guys. Now I'm not going to use it in this configuration because I think it looks odd with that. So I'll just use it in the normal two more configuration, guys. Now you get a big bag of goodies right here and a try tool. The infamous Geek Fake Orange Try Tool, guys. Now at the bottom, you'll get a user manual, so a warranty card or purchase information, a warning card, some colors on what the Geek Vape Blitzen will come in, the social media right there, the Blitzen on the other side, and all of that was in this envelope, guys. Now. Let's see what's in this goodies bag. Now if you open it up, let's put it all up in here guys. Try not to lose anything. Now you do have some spare o-rings, like a ton of them guys. A spare post screws. A 510 drip tip adapter guys. A wide bore 510 drip tip. Your 5mm chimney extension piece for your bubble ta uh, bubble glass section guys and a frosted 18 skinny drip tip guys right there this is kind of cool and last i want to mention is this actual if i can get it out of here now is this this is the key or the tool you will use to change the glass of your tank so basically when you open up the top cap because this part here that piece of metal right there is so thin and it's hard to grip you will basically use the key stick it in the juice inlet ports hold your glass section and just twist guys makes life a lot easier now let's talk about the start of the show the Blitzen RTA guys now if you size spit before we start now height in normal mode from 510 drip to uh, drip trip you're looking at just over 46 millimeters and the height in this and the width in this will be 24 millimeters guys now your bubble section the glass will go out to 
28 millimeters guys with that bubble glass now let's have a look at this at the bottom there you can see geek Ve the blitzen sorry guys ce logo the vape in the bin the batch and serial number and right at the bottom here see if it picks it up designed by geek vape okay it's not coming too clearly guys now your positive bit as you can see gold plated and nice and protruding guys peak insulator around it and slightly protruding so it should be good for your mechs and hybrid mech mods now let's open it up and let's see how she looks inside guys now it does take a bit of a, a while now we got that out guys let's put that aside now let's have a look at this now your airflow you have like this sort of honeycomb airflow with dual slots on either side right there and your airflow control spins 360 degrees with no stop guys now this is predominantly a side airflow rta guys your juice will come out right of here right out of there guys right there and that's how it'll exit the tank and basically you can see this notches i don't know if you can see this notches guys right there that'll line up with your deck section now guys here's the deck section and it is a postless deck guys quite big postless deck but the post holes are of a medium size not the biggest in the world big juice uh wells guys as you can see they're nice big juice wells and as i showed you the juice exits the tank section through here that slot right there guys and it enters the juice well through there that slot right there guys and it soaks up the wicks in that way your positive post is on this side with your peak insulator separating it and your negative post mill directly into the deck guys now just wanted to discuss as you can see there is a lot of doming going on here guys which is really nice and basically from the glass down this is one central piece which is press footed on so you can't really take it apart from the glass section down guys so this airflow ring here i think it is press fitted because i can't really take it out guys now let's put a build in here now to do that let's throw it onto a bolt stand first just makes life a whole lot simpler guys and let's throw some coils in there today we are using some multi-strand fuse claptons guys and i do have the specs of these coils down in the video description guys now let's install it in here and it shouldn't be hard at all because this is a postless deck now as always let's just cut this coil down and let's do that quite conservatively guys watch your eyes when you're doing this guys okay now let's open up these post screws should have done that first now remember guys these are ni80 cores i forgot to mention Last post screw. Now let's just get this coil in and see where we're sitting at, guys. Just want to put this next to it to get a rough measurement, and that's still a bit too high, guys. So, what I'm going to do is put it back onto the coiling rod and just trim it a bit more, say somewhere around there. And that one as well. And just put it back in here and see how it sits, guys. And that one looks to be better, guys. So, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take out the first coil, slide it onto the coiling rod, put my second coil on here, and take the measurement to cut my legs of the second coil from 
my first one guys basically just like this make sure it's straight you don't mess this up guys and this one as well guys now now that you have these cuts install them so your first one just get it in there just lay that second one in there as well guys just like that now i'm just gonna hold it in there to hold it in place while i tighten it down guys just like this just i'm holding it in place because i don't want the coils to move guys like this one as well Now I must say these flat head post screws are really good guys. Haven't had any issues with them so far. And really gripping the coil quite nicely as well. Okay. Now let's just position them with our coiling rod. Try and get them as center as possible. You want it somewhere about, say, there, guys, without them touching. So it's going to look something like this. Now try and get them as straight and as even as possible, guys. And that looks good right about there, guys. Now let's put it onto a mod and let's fire it up without hitting the tripod guys <laughs> now we are using the snow wolf 218 uh, mod today stab edition yeah that's what it is guys the triple 18 650 and description of the mod will be down in the video description as well guys now let's turn this on put the preheat setting off first Turn this right down to 10 watts, guys. Turn that down 10.10 .10 seconds. And turn this down to say 30 watts. That should be good. Now grab your ceramic tweezers, guys. And let's take out these hot spots. Get some heat in there. just strum guys now the good thing about using a ceramic tweezer you can strum while you are firing let's give it a pinch here and a pinch here guys that's what then just give that a strum scrape another one there just one more scrape should do it and that looks good guys not as yet though that one is still a bit wonky give it a squeeze scrape now that looks much better guys and let's just give it a bit more wattage say 40 watts and it looks good heating up from the center out guys now let's let these cool down and when we return guys we'll wick it up juice it up and see how it bakes see you when we come back guys okay guys now that the coals have cooled down Let's wick it up guys and today we are using some cotton bacon version 2 for this wicking guys that I've just taken a strip out of and let's wick it up guys. So taper one end down just like this what you like what you would like to do is just take some off of there which will make the tapering easier. Just taper it down 
take it through and just pull that through nice to the length that you need should be good right about there now grab your scissor and just cut the excess guys and repeat the same on the second coil guys just a bit of back and forward movement to make sure we got enough wiggle room there guys same on this side you want it to be tight but just a bit of wiggle room guys that's good right there let's trim that off now let's comb out this cotton guys now with your elbow tweezer whatever tweezer you have just basically comb it out now you're gonna give this a medium to well comb guys pretty big wicking channels there looks good now same on the other side guys now i'm just putting my finger below it so it'll give me something to, to support it the cotton while i'm combing it guys now just trim the length that you need and with this one i'm going with outside the base guys so i'm taking my measurement right there and trimming my cotton and same on this side guys that should be good now let's get our tweezer and let's try and get it in there guys now use first a one wick tail to test you want it to be nice and straight you don't want any crumple fi fibers in there guys which will hinder you wicking in any way it's a straight fiber right there just like that that looks good now let's do the same with this one guide it in there guys want to guide it in if the if it is feels a bit too small for your tweezer use your one edge just guide it in just like that guys just like this guys and make sure everything is nice and straight now once again i'll show you on this side i think let's just trim this a bit more all the fluffy bits out of here guys now what we're going to do is i think it'll be easier to grab both the wicks here just grab both of them like that pick it up and just guide that in guys Just like that. And I think doing it this way with both the wicks is way easier, guys. So I'm going to redo this side. So what I want to first do is just comb it out a bit more. And I'm leaving this in, guys, because things like this happen on a daily basis. When you are wicking or re-wicking your device. And I, would, I want you guys to know that I'm keeping it real. So take Let's just cut out the fluffy bits again, guys. And this time, let's use both wigs here. So basically, pick that up and just guide it in there, guys. Just like this. And isn't that so much better? Now, you're gonna be looking with some, you're gonna be left looking with something like this, guys. And what you want to do is not worry about those fibers because we're going to be sorting them out right now. So let's get a juice and juice it up, guys. And today we're using some Dala Cut de Clair. It's 3 milligram nick liquid, guys. What an awesome liquid, local liquid as well, guys. Now let's just drop some on here. So again, some on the coils as well, guys, and on the other side as well. Let that soak in here, guys. Really nice liquid. I really dig this liquid, guys. Now let that soak in there. 
to put, put more on this side here guys looking a bit dry here and here suppose the same on the opposite side now we just want to neaten those wicks up guys right there at the corners where it might catch might that looks good then that looks good like that now let's just grab a lighter and fire this coil now let's turn up the wattage to say 52 watts looks to be good guys and the coils are only not at 0.18 now basically what you want to do is fire it and just put a light to it and blow it out guys that should dissipate most of the cotton taste say 80 to 90 percent of it and the rest should dissipate within the first couple of vapes now let's just reduce this up to make sure it's nice and soaked in there guys now let's put on the top section now you just want to hear for the click did you hear that guys once again and then you know you're lined up guys what i like to do is actually take it off the mod and screw it on by hand guys because it makes it a bit easier because these threads are a bit tight for some reason even after using it for a while guys now that's nice and tight close that airflow back on the mod let's open this top cap guys and what we didn't talk about was the actual drip tip bores guys so let's do that right now so your chimney bore you're looking at 12 millimeters and so your catch cup bore is 12 millimeters and your chimney you're looking at 8 millimeters guys now one thing I did fail to mention is Look at this drip tip. These drip tips are awesome and each color comes with their own unique resin style drip tip which is awesome guys. Now let's fill it up. Juice inlet ports are very big so you shouldn't find, find any problems with your glass droppers or whatever guys. Unicorn bottles fit here with ease and as you can see I am using one right now guys. Okay, let's fold that up, close this, and let's take take it to the top and see how it vapes, guys. Hey guys. See you up top. Now we're back up here with the Blitzen RTA by Deep Vape, guys. Got it sitting on top of the Snow Wolf, Sigeli Snow Wolf 218, um, triple 18, mod, guys. Pretty good, pretty pretty good guys. Combo I must say. And uh, let's have a vape and see how it vapes guys. Just by the way guys, I got that uh, multi strand fuse captains in there, two NR80 uh, coils. I'll put the coil description in the video description under this video guys. Now, let's discuss how this vapes guys. Firstly, shit ton of airflow guys, oh my god, it's a shit ton of airflow guys, side airflow as well, and yo, there's so much of it, there's just so much of it guys, I feel I can vape this thing at like 120 watts, 180 watts guys, because that's how much airflow it has to cool down the tank, sure, I'm vaping this at 68 watts with a 0.1718 coil guys, and I'm getting a cool, cool vape, a very flavorful cool vape guys i must say really nice really really nice and now this dollar eclair juice here guys that cream that custard eclair juice i can taste all of the notes it's amazing guys this tank is really awesome guys and i mean you have the two options your two mil section or your five mil bubble glass section which i think just looks odd it looks like a like a flying saucer on the top of a mount or something guys really looks odd guys uh, but not to mention this drip tip and you get like two spare drip tips three 
all together guys a spare two mil glass um damn you get a lot of shit with this that o rings false boots try to damn you get a lot of things with this tank guys and the flavor from this is outstanding outstanding guys rate for production i'll give it an eight and a half to nine out of ten reason being i feel that you can actually vape this thing on such a high vape and you'll get clouds of vapor guys clouds of it because the higher the wattage i think you can vape on this it'll keep it so cool people can actually manage and vape it guys and the amount of vapor and dense vapor you'll get at those high wattages especially with nice 70 vg juices amazing guys therefore i'll give it an eight and a half to nine under ten for dense vapor production guys flavor seven out of ten because you know those dual calls especially with this one particularly has so much of air it's just for me it's muting it a tad bit guys a tad bit just a tad bit guys and shit i'm actually so amazed with the side airflow out here i can't i, I really i really am guys because i prefer my bottom airflow RTAs. If there isn't any bottom airflow in the option, I generally don't go for it, guys. But there were so many good reviews for this. I said I need to pick it up and try it for myself, guys. And let me tell you, freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome, guys. And I, I really recommend that you pick this up. You won't be going wrong, guys. Anyway, that's my views of it. And let me know of your views down in the comment section below, guys. And if you if you like this video, then hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for daily vape reviews. That's vaping mofo. Out.